During independent learning time, um, teachers will often run workshops for students and those workshop groups are really flexible and we try and choose students uh, for those groups based on a couple different things. Uh, we do want to keep the size of the groups small, um, so we try to limit our numbers to no more than uh, 8 or 10. Sometimes it's as small as 2 or 3 uh, or even working one on one. But uh, we also focus in on what the student needs are. So we look at uh, where our students have been working and who's been successful and who has struggled. So we can look at maybe a particular student has been working on a focus area or a topic and they've tried the assessment a couple of times on their own and they've not been successful. And maybe they've sort of abandoned it because it's too hard for them or they want to work somewhere else. And we can bring that student in and say, okay, you need a little bit more support here. Uh, so you're going to work with a teacher, with a group, um, and kind of go deeper into it and get the supports that you, you may not have the ability to take this on independently. Alright folks, we're going to get into PLT during PLT today. I'm going to be doing a science workshop on ecosystems, relationships and ecosystems. Alright, and I want to have Amani, Amanda, Madison, and William for that. And then I'm going to grab some C5 kids. You want to do it? Yes. Alright, you're in. Um, I'm going to grab some folks from C5. We're going to be working up front at this big table and using the smart board. So you need to be in a spot where you can see the board clearly. All right. You can take notes in a notebook, science notebook, or you can do it on a Google Doc on your computer because you're going to have the playlist open.